Hi! Today we're going to show you how to use the Make and Bake Bead Maker. Included in your kit is your clay bead molding tray, design templates, plastic knife, mini tweezers, bead making needle, colorful cording, clay, glitter pots, and sparkling gemstones. You will need to bake your designs once you are finished. Have an adult preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Set a tray aside for your finished pieces. Let's begin! Place the clay bead molder in front of you. Break off a piece of clay and knead it until it is soft. Press the clay into the larger bead mold until it is filled. Using the sculpting knife, remove any excess clay from the mold. The top of the clay should be flat. Using your fingers, pull the clay out of the mold and work into an oval shape. Remove the lid from the tool and set aside. Place the clay into the outer ring of the tool. Place the lid on the top of the tool and spin the handle five times clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. Lift the lid off the tool to reveal a perfect bead. If you are happy with your bead and do not want to add any embellishments, use the bead maker needle and poke a hole through the middle of the bead. Wiggle the needle in a circular motion to make your hole bigger. To make a smaller bead, repeat the steps from above using the small mold instead of the large. For smaller beads, you will use a smaller ring on the tool. Your bead might lose its shape when you're making the hole in your bead. If this happens, simply rework your bead back into a round shape after making the hole. If you want to add a pattern on your bead, select a pattern template and place it onto the tool. Carefully roll your bead along the template. Once your pattern is stamped, make a hole through the middle of the bead using the bead maker needle. Wiggle the needle in a circular motion to make your hole bigger. Be careful not to place your fingers on your pattern design. Note that you should add a pattern to your bead before making the bead hole. Place your finished bead on the cookie sheet. If you choose to add glitter to your beads, carefully open the two glitter pots. Then, using the tweezers, roll your clay bead into one of the pots. Hold the glitter bead between two fingers and carefully poke a hole through the middle of your bead with the bead maker needle. Before placing the bead down, shake to remove any excess glitter. Once your cookie sheet is filled with beads, it's time to bake them. Ask an adult to place the cookie sheet into the oven. Set a timer for 15 minutes. Once 15 minutes has passed, have an adult take the cookie sheet out. Once your beads have cooled, select colorful cording and begin beading to your liking. For more information, visit our website, 